Hey guys, this is Elisa here, and I'm going to do another relationship request that I got. This was actually a comment that I got on my YouTube video yesterday. So the video that it was commented under is called I Left Her and I Regret It. And the guy who, I guess I won't say your name because I don't know your name. I know your username, but I don't know your actual name. It says, I broke up with my girlfriend recently, and it's been some time now, but I can't tell if I made the right decision. Our relationship was two years, but half of those years we were in and out. The reason we had so many breakups was because of resentment, jealousy, trust issues, and more. But the thing that affected us the most was when she cheated on me. We were trying to work things out after it happened, but it just wasn't the same. She changed. And yes, she did try, but I didn't feel like she gave it her all to prove herself to me. I felt very unhappy about it, and I wanted... All I wanted was for her to love me and prove to me, through her actions, just how much. I didn't want to break up with her, but I just thought it was best because I felt like she didn't love me anymore, the way that she used to, and that she didn't actually want to be together. I felt like she wanted me to break up with her so that she wouldn't have to bear the pain of making the decision. Is cheating on someone a mistake? Can it ever really be forgiven? I just feel like she doesn't even regret it. I just don't know what to do but focus on myself right now. I still love her, but right now I don't know if reaching out is the right thing to do. Do you have any advice? All right, well, that was very well written. I appreciate your your very good grammar and your clarity when typing that, so thank you. Um, That's actually a really good question. I personally think that I've gotten really bad at, like, transitioning into my advice. Like, I used to just be really good at, like, talking and then, like, smoothly gliding my advice in there. But I can't do that anymore. I lost that skill. So, now I'm just, like, being more upfront. Um, it honestly just sounds like the relationship outgrew itself, which is totally normal. It's organic. Like, it's so normal for people to drift apart when dating for that long. And you mentioned that, like, you dated for two years, but half of those were spent, like, fighting and, like, being in and out. A lot of the times when that happens, you are already moving on before even breaking up. And that's what sounds like happened to her. It sounds like while you guys were going in and out, she probably was moving on, which is why she cheated on you, because her heart wasn't with you anymore. And I know that's like so heartbreaking to hear, and it's really heartbreaking to admit, but that's normally the case. Like, girls, as soon as we like get affection... Well, I'm not going to say as soon as we get affection from someone else, we're going to, like, leave, because that's not true. But, like, if we feel like we're just, if we're distant from our boyfriend or from the person that we're with, and somebody else is giving us that attention that we desire, naturally, we will stray to that person. And that's what sounds like happened with her. Uh, somehow, she wasn't being emotionally satisfied from you anymore, but she had a year, a year and a half to two years of getting it, but it's not supposed to be forever, you know, like, and seldom anything is a forever thing nowadays, or even at all, so it just sounds like while you guys were going in and out, she, she was moving on, and I feel like the reason why you are beating yourself up about it is because you are probably uncomfortable with the change, which is fine. Sometimes we break up and we know that it was the right thing to do, but we don't miss the person. We miss having the relationship, and we miss having that comfort. We miss having that component. If someone's in your life for two years, that's really hard to let go of, really hard. And that person could kill your family, literally kill your family, and I feel like there would always be a part of you attached to them. I know that's, like, so morbid. I really, I guess I don't mean it literally, but, like, somebody could literally do something to such a terrible caliber. And if you really love that person, there's always going to be a piece of you with them. So just because it ended doesn't mean that it was ever the wrong thing to pursue. It just means that for those two years that you guys were in each other's lives, or I guess, like, the one year that you guys were actually dating, like, seriously, and everything was good, that's exactly where you were supposed to be for that moment in time, but you said she changed, and honestly, it happens. When girls change, it's typically a pretty drastic change, and I know when I change, I've changed a, 
I'm not going to say a few times since I've started college, but I, I think I've ultimately changed. And change requires cutting strings and tying new ones. So I've lost a lot of people since, I started, since I've started college because they were impeding on my growth as a human, as my, they were impeding on my, like, pursuit of success, of knowledge, and I feel like they just weren't long-term. Maybe at one point in my life, they were exactly who I needed them to be. They were the friend that I needed in that moment. They were the boyfriend that I needed in that moment. They were everything that I needed in that moment. But, like, as of today, there's no room in my life for those people anymore. And it's not, it doesn't mean that they didn't ever have a purpose in my life. It just means that they don't anymore. And that's something that you really have to realize. And once you do realize that, it's good. And I know it's hard to see it right now because y'all just broke up. But eventually, you'll see the reason. Um, it takes a long time. It took me a, a long time before I could see any positivity for my breakup, but it does come eventually. And I think that you know deep in your heart that you made the right decision because you, I just hear it. Like, like literally just by the way you're typing, I just feel like you know when you're like deep, deep, deep in your heart it was the right decision because she did cheat on you. And you don't do that to somebody you love. You don't. You don't do that to somebody you love. And is cheating on someone a mistake? I personally don't think it is. Some people will argue that it is like, oh, I was drunk, oh, I was this, I was that. That's fine. Those are really good excuses, but it's not enough. At least for me, it's not. It shouldn't be for you either. Um, I don't think it, it's a mistake. I think especially if you felt like she was distancing herself, it's, it, it's no surprise to me that, that she went off and did that because she was already halfway there, you know? She was already pulling away, she was changing, you guys were in and out, it's just all the signs, you know, all the signs that typically lead to, che to cheating are those, so your other question was, can it ever really be forgiven, of course, you can 100% forgive a cheater, but it doesn't mean that you should let them back in your life, it doesn't mean you should give them another romantic chance, <sighs> it doesn't mean anything, you can forgive them, I forgive everyone who's done me wrong, but I would never let them back in my life, I would never let them have any influence over my emotions ever again because they don't deserve it. So, um, if you're saying I feel like she doesn't even regret it, the thing I think about that is she probably doesn't or she does deep, deep down, but she's like repressing it and covering it up with all these externalities, like distancing herself she's probably going off and what like partying you know with friends like maybe she does feel guilty but I feel like if she ever does realize she messed up it's not going to be right now it might be later on down the line but as of right now I feel like she is content with what happened of course just because you're content with something doesn't mean it doesn't hurt you guys are probably both hurting because the loss of a two-year relationship is morbid sorry someone just texted me and I have like incredibly bad ADHD like I don't even remember what I was saying Okay, the loss of a two-year relationship is morbid, but just because it ends and you're uncomfortable doesn't mean that's a sign that it's meant to be. It just means that you're a human and you're capable of emotions and you're doing the right thing by reaching out because I honestly do feel like in your heart you know what's best for you. Like It sounds like there's nothing in this message that's making me believe that she wants to be with you or she wants to like give it another shot. It sounds like you guys already ran your course which is totally fine. Like, honestly, let it. You know, you're the one who, you might not feel like it, but I feel like the ball's definitely in your court here. You're the one with the upper hand because you're the one who's been cheated on. You're the one who broke up with her. Like, you are definitely the one who you deserve to make all the decisions that you are making. And you shouldn't feel bad for making the decisions that you did because cheating, I take that extremely seriously. And... If that was, like, if I was in your shoes, that would have been the last straw. I wouldn't have even considered giving her another chance or considered doing anything. But the fact that you are really shows me that you care about her as a person, which is super special. But it also shows me that she does not deserve you. If you go out of your way to reach out to some random stranger on the internet asking for advice, obviously confiding in me, and she's off doing her own thing, sleeping with other people, you feel like she wanted to break up too, but she didn't have the, the balls to do it. She changed. Then you're you're way ahead of the game here. Like, you're the one ahead. You're the one who 
ultimately is better off, okay? I don't think it's her loss at all. Um, I definitely, I'm sorry, I don't think it's your loss at all. I think, I'm, I was reading that when I was talking. It's not your loss at all. If anything, it's her loss because she lost somebody who cares enough to confide in a random stranger on the internet. Um, and she's the one who just wanted to break a friggin' heart and do her own thing. And there's not a single part of me that thinks she deserves another chance. You seem like a really cool guy, really sweet, really smart. You know what's right, you know what's wrong. And I feel like you should take all that wisdom that you have and invest in somebody who will reciprocate that and who will give you exactly what you're looking for. And in somebody who, if this was happening with y'all, she would message me too. Like, you need a girl who loves you so much that if y'all got in a fight, she would do everything she can to fix it, whether it's reaching out to a random state. Like, I want, I want that girl to message me the other half of the story saying, hey, I cheated on my boyfriend. I regret it so much and I, I want him back. And I'm not getting that from her because I'm looking at my notifications and there's nothing in here from her. I mean, she might be <laughs> messaging another girl. Whatever. Um, you deserve somebody who is willing to go the extra mile just like you are. And I don't think you should invest any more of your time and energy into this. Of course, it's going to be hard. You know, you're going to have withdrawals for a very long time, probably for months and months to come. Unless you're, like, not like me, and then it'll probably be a few weeks like normal people. But in the meantime, I think you should stay off the dating sites because that always makes it worse. It makes you want to – it makes you break more hearts because then it makes you just want to, like, use girls who don't deserve it because I've been in that position and it sucks. So don't go on the dating sites because then you're not dealing with your pain properly. You're just suppressing it. Um – I really do think you should, and I give this advice to everybody, don't dig a hole, but I don't know how to word it. Jeez, I'm really bad at advice now. Um, don't deepen the hole that's been dug. So um, it's like example given, don't party, don't do drugs, don't go on Tinder, don't do all these things that will just deepen the hole. Do things that will build onto the hole, like learning a new skill, learning a new craft, doing art lessons, karate, picking up a new hobby, going to the gym more, like do things that add to your life and not take away. That is the ultimate goal to moving on. And I feel like if you do that, you'll be fine because then you'll realize how much better you deserve and how she's not the person for you. So I know it's rough because it's been two years, but she did serve a purpose in your life for those two years. But now her purpose in your life is just to teach you a lesson and to show you what you can step off of to get better. Does that make sense? Um, so that's pretty much my advice. I'm sorry if I missed, I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, please let me know. Shoot me an email if you ever need more help. Let me know if anything happens. I'm super interested to hear um, where this goes from here. And yeah, you deserve better and don't forget. And thank you so much for confiding me. And if anyone else has any questions, Shoot me an email, comment on the video, do whatever, follow me on Instagram, subscribe, even feel free to Venmo me because I'm broke. Adelisa Fong, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye, guys.